for arguing sake, Hollywood Beach is an awesome beach. <laughs> it I don't is. think anyone gets killed there. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> right. Uh, and our weather has been a little gloomy today. Yeah, really mucky. We've had a lot of fog, so let's go ahead and look. And of course, uh, real quick, we're going to change that. We're going to go to a northerly wind sort of uh, program here, and you can already see it setting up shop as far as the weather service seeing uh, b basically a north wind. You can almost look at that as being our sort of wall between northern and maybe uh, northern and southern California with the, the mountain ranges, the southern Sierra, the Tehachapis, through the coastal ranges, and whenever you see them light up like that, you know you have a north type of wind, either north or to northeast, and that's exactly what's on the way. So look at the temperatures today. Uh, again, a Apologize, Santa Barbara's been missing. We're trying to get that back online, um, but you can more or less get your ideas right there with Goleta there. Probably a little bit warmer, but not much. San Ynez 66, so it was a cool one today across the board. Ojai only 66, and look at north of Point Conception. Paso Robles uh, having the benefit of being pretty far inland and way, way away from any ocean influence. You were at 81 today. Get ready, we'll probably go into the 90s very soon. And your beaches, 61 for Lompoc, 57 for um, beautiful Pismo Beach. And look at the high today in Santa Maria. Again, just kind of analyzing it. Only about, what is that, a nine degree difference between your high and your low. And th that is really um, indicative, of just screams of a marine layer where you just don't really warm up, but you also don't get overly cold at night. And again, everything about to flip on its head. I'll get to that in a moment. Widespread 50s and 60s right now, although inland area is still getting a little warmer. So we're starting to see more of what looks a lot like a late spring event here but we're going to flip it back the other way and be more like a winter warm-up and I'll try to explain that again in just a second right now wind speeds out of the north mainly and starting to turn a little more northerly and a little more strength and your humidity value is still pumped up and that means that we're getting uh, the nice benefit of the ocean onshore flow so as we look at the fog not a whole lot right now there is a scattered marine layer for the most part not reducing your visibilities and as we look we're talking about a zonal flow so what does that mean you're getting a lot of ocean influence in this part of the world but that's going to change as high pressure fills in across the west we'll start to see the fog and the mild conditions be replaced with high pressure building in and as that happens we start to get the wind and warmer conditions uh, both Tuesday and then more so on Wednesday and Thursday and probably ling lingering at least till through Friday and then dropping off as we head into Saturday and more so on Sunday. So we'll go back to that dry, those dry conditions where uh, the offshore flow. L luckily, it doesn't look like we have any fire issues right now, and that's because of the last rain we got. But that could also change if we get more of these events, which hopefully we won't. We're looking for spring showers, but if we do, we'll go right back into the penalty box as far as uh, heightened fire concerns. So watch the future cast storm systems to our north. As they run past, we get those little waves of energy. It deepens the marine layer. Then high pressure builds in and look how much it just blows everything offshore and we saw, we've seen that so much since December and that's just really been our our weather bane this winter has been just these offshore events so there goes the future fog it may linger a little bit tomorrow around the Santa Barbara Ventura County line and then once it blows out of here by Tuesday that's it say goodbye you may not see much of it there might be a little bit of inland fog that might sneak over here and there through the time through the period but really not much to talk about it's your winds that's your north wind right there through the next few days and then eventually by Wednesday we'll see the Santa Lucia is kicking into gear for the central coast and probably more Santa Ana's once we get to about Wednesday when it will definitely get much warmer than normal. So there's your high temperatures for Monday a really nice day expected and then I'll step out of the way and you can see for Tuesday look at those 60s and 70s turning into 70s and some 80s and boy and how so that's when the warm up starts and again be patient it probably will last at least a few days. There's your 70s for tomorrow. Looks like another our 60s and 70s for the Santa Barbara South Coast. And as we head farther north and west, again, watching those north winds, it could be a little bit on the gusty side uh, at around 35 miles an hour below passes and canyons. So all areas getting more sunshine. And of course, that is all the result of those winds. And even though the beaches might stay a little cooler tomorrow, get ready, you'll warm up as well once we get into that seven day forecast. Quickly, the surf, we do have waves out there. And with the wind, it will be pretty busy with a wind swell and northwesterly ground swell. And there's the uh, the forecast. And look at that, boy, warm and how through about Friday. We back it off just a little bit by Saturday, more so on Sunday as we go yet again for our weather uh, whiplash as uh, the Weather Service has been referring to it all year. And that's where you go from
you know, just one extreme back to the other. That's exactly because of these winds. Uh, the good news is extended forecast shows maybe some more rain coming, but that's off our seven day forecast right now. But in April, so April yeah, showers April is a showers, real thing. Yeah. All right, thank you. Coming up, the Lakers are trying to make a playoff push with the season winding down and the women's college basketball championship is underway. That's still ahead on your news channel live at six.